We have your man. If you want him back, you need to go home now. Sorry, I've been taken captive. Please, help me. It looks like I'm done. I knew trickery and dishonesty wouldn't pay off in the long run. That was a well-earned victory. Let's get moving. your way with our land. I will keep Janing safe from your prying hands. to challenge me? Then you shall be crushed like the insect you are! <laughs> 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 It's no good. We're just delaying the inevitable. The Great King has finally come around to our way of thinking. This should allow us to form an alliance with Nanjong. Impossible! How could I be bested in a test of strength? A rematch! I demand a rematch! This battle has already been settled, King of Nanjong. I think that you know no matter how you will never beat us. Shh. We have no wish to continue this conflict. It is of no benefit to us. Why not join hands with us? We will work together to make your land rich and prosperous. What? One minute you're attacking us, and the next you want to be our friends? Stop messing with my head! 
We attacked not We are not your Well I Peace has been brought to now. Understood. In Shu, after the death of Liu Bei, his son Liu Chan becomes emperor. Zhuge Liang and the other ministers support him and make plans to restore the country to its former strength. After repelling the Wei invasion, they also succeed in conquering the troublesome Nanjong tribes. Elsewhere, Wu successfully repels the Xu attack on Yiling. When Zhuge Liang alliance, they accept. All of this was simply to oppose Wei, who continued to seek to conquer the entire land. While all this had been happening, Wei had focused their efforts on domestic affairs and increased their own strength in order to be ready for the upcoming showdown with Wu and Shu. The soldiers are all bristling with determination to defeat the forces of Wei. It's enough to reignite the fires of passion in my own chest! Yes, the fires of passion. I'm sure Master Ma Chao would have said something similar. Ma Chao fell to illness. Another ally yours. Come on, everyone! Don't look so depressed. The young master is gone, but it's our duty to burn with enough intensity to make up for his loss. I know that's what he would have wanted. Let's Ma Chao, too. We will now begin our preparations for the Northern Campaign. I crush way! I understand how you feel, Master Wei Yun, but it's important to be properly prepared. Madai speaks the truth. We have attained control over Nanjong, but there remain a number of tasks which must first be carried out. We can only send forth our troops once all of these issues have been resolved. However, the enemy will soon realize that we are making preparations. We must proceed swiftly and efficiently, and divide the tasks among us all. There can be no land of benevolence without securing victory in this northern campaign. Prepare well for the upcoming battle. The letter to be delivered to Master Gongsun Yuan. I believe... I hear that tea is highly prized in Liaodong. Master Gongsun Yuan may be moved to action if we include some with him.
I will never be able to develop the new weapons in time. Not... It's... Do not endanger yourself. This area is famous for its tea leaves. They're supposed to be top quality, you know. as much timber Hey who are you This is our house Get out of here Bandits are living here This is a shoe base I cannot allow such disrespect I should be able to collect all of them. Understood. What are you doing in our castle? Take it, are you? No squatting in our base. Give it back. At once. Strong, sturdy bridge. That was a well earned victory. Shing, you're actually a lot stronger than you look. I mean, you're a lot smaller than father. The tea here is the best.
I have been entrusted with the vital task. But... You are... The shoe forces! What are you doing here? Uh-oh. This is not the time to be fighting. Looks like we'll have to come after I came all this way. Oh, we have been overcome! Our meeting with the Chiang has been thwarted! The Wei Army is waiting for the Chiang tribe too? Something's very odd about all this. Perhaps I should take a look around. I am Mi Den, leader of the Chung tribe. You fought magnificent. Officers of Wei were waiting for you as well. Did you set this battle up? I must admit that I did. I wanted to see which side was more worthy of our service. I will make up for this deception in future battles. Understood. That was a well-earned victory. You've certainly come a long way, Guan Xin. It's fun to watch you. The Shu forces are attacking! Over here! Alright! Stop it already! I can't bear this any longer! I fight on! In the name of my father! You are performing quite well! Danger yourself. This should allow us to be ready in time for Master. That was a well earned victory. Jing, look. I mean, you're a lot smaller than father. Looks like everything went well. You are a truly amazing warrior. Huh. Let us re It would appear that the development of s Negotiations with the Chion people appear to have been co The construction of the Plank Bridge seems to be our plan to agitate Gons. Thanks to the fine work of all of you, preparations for our northern campaign are complete. We are ready to begin. Thanks entirely to you, preparations for the northern campaign are now complete. It must have been tremendously difficult to have done so much by yourself. 
I think both you and Zhuge Liang are working too hard. I hope you will both take some time to rest your weary bodies. But now we can prepare for the Northern Campaign without any concerns. Zhuge Liang, you know, there will be no going back now. That's right. All we can do is continue along the path we have chosen. For the sake of the grand ambition of Master Liu Bei, and for those who have sacrificed their lives for that cause, we must claim victory and build a land of virtue and benevolence. My lord, may I ask you a question? In preparation for the Northern Campaign, we've not only addressed all domestic concerns, but we've even made contact with Gong Sun Yuan in Liaodong. I must say that our movements have been far from subtle. Wei is almost certain to realize we are up to something. Why have you elected to pursue an approach which will draw the enemy's attention? When we took Hanjong from Wei, we made use of the element of surprise. Since then, however, Wei has constantly had one eye on movements here in Shu. In which case, there is no point in trying to obfuscate. It is better that we make sure our preparations are perfect instead. I simply decided that it would be more effective to eliminate any potential for failure and ensure the highest possibility of success. My lord, if you will please forgive my impertinence. You've always prepared immaculately for every undertaking, but recently it seems to me that your preparations are perhaps excessively cautious. I fear that kind of boldness you once showed when you jumped into the fray against U at Shibi has been lost. The Wei Commander is Sima Yi. He is the kind of man against whom no battle will go smoothly. We were able to claim victory during the invasion on five fronts because he did not yet have complete control over his army at the time. However, things have changed now. It is imperative that we prepare thoroughly and leave nothing to chance. I cannot help but feel that there's something that you're not telling me. I am your wife, my lord. I can sense these things. My lord, you're not... You are an intelligent woman, Yue Ying. I believe you understand my true intent. But I would prefer that we end this conversation here. I do not want my personal matters to affect the land in any way. Please. That is all that I, Zhugo Lian, desired to say before advancing our campaign north. <sighs> ah. Master Zhao Yun, forgive me. Master Zhuge Liang's words made me remember days long past. That's right. You, father, and everyone fought together long before I was even aware of anything that was going on. That's incredible! You wandered, and you fought. As a result, you were able to establish Shu. Liu Bei! I, Liu Bei, will your dream fulfill! 
I would like to thank each and every one of you. I also would like to fulfill my father's dream. However, is there no path that does not involve fighting? But if there is an enemy, shouldn't we defeat them? The chaos has lasted too long. Let us end it once and for all. Let us defeat that way! Defeat that way! I do understand how you all feel. I pray for your success in this battle. Master Leo Bay, we are on our way. The first wave of troops led by Ma Su appears to be proceeding smoothly. It is time for us to go forward in support of them. This is a two-wave attack. It will allow us to strike with greater force and consistency and overcome the Wei army. I bring news. Master Ma Su's unit has been surrounded by the enemy at Jiting. He is requesting assistance at once. Furthermore, the fact that the first wave has been managed, and our units are struggling across the battlefield. No. I did not anticipate that we would encounter such trouble at Jiting. I gave Ma Su detailed instructions and told his deputy, Wang Ping, to be sure to secure the key roads in and out of Jiting. The thing is, my lord, Master Ma Su disobeyed your orders and rejected Master Wang Peng's admonishment and set up camp on our mountaintop near Jiting. Ah, atop a mountain, one's supply lines can so easily be severed. Ma Su, did you overestimate your own ability? If we cannot protect Jiting, then the northern campaign is a failure. Our forces, though, are still fighting bravely. We must go to the aid of the first wave. We must also ensure that Sima E is repelled and the enemy's momentum blunted. You must rescue as many of our men as possible. I am counting on you. Ma Su and the others on the front line appear to be struggling. We need to regroup as soon as we are able. In order to do so, we need to take down Tian Shui, where Sima Yi is stationed. We must push back the Wei forces and rescue our allies. But, I must admit, the enemy formation is truly magnificent. I wonder who could be commanding their forces. Normally, I would have mobilized more troops. However, our numbers are reduced due to the trouble caused by Gong Sun Yue of Liao Dong. <laughs> simply can't lose! Thank you for all of your thorough preparations. You are truly vital to shoot. You seem to shine even more brightly today. My might 
was insufficient to overcome you. It seems I still have far to travel along the path of the warrior. Thing just to see Guan Suo one last time. That girl's in danger. I have to save her. Oh, that was far too close. I really thought I was dead for sure. I'm just happy to be able to see that smile once again. You're like the sun, you know? So glad you're safe. That was a well-earned victory. You fight just like our... That is always with Machao. Is it true that he's dead? How about this? I'll send you to see him yourself if you like. That's not going to happen. Come, I'm going to take you someplace nice. We're going to take that area. Forward, march! That's not going to happen! You shall pay for this! Madai, the next time we meet, you will meet the same fate as Machao! I fight on! In the name of my father! That was a well-earned victory. Understood. That officer possesses an uncommon style and beauty for a member of Shu. I look forward to this battle. I accept your challenge. I will not allow any man to test me! We're Goldward March! That was a most amazing battle. I am quite impressed with this enemy officer. I fight on in the name of my father. That was a well-earned victory. All units place. This will allow us to engage the Shu forces. Huh. 
That's an impressive formation. If I leave everything to Jian Wei, I should be able to just take things easy. Report. We know who leads the forces. It's Jian Wei. Jian Wei. He would make an invaluable addition to our army. The order that he has to be captured. After that, I hope that he will be amenable to our request to defect. There's no point in fighting on any longer. You must excuse me. That didn't work out. Jiang Wei's formation was totally worthless. Given our circumstances, we must stay here and defend. I attack that position! I capture! <laughs> time fighting on. It displeases me, but I will withdraw. I fight on in the name of my father! I attack that position! I capture! That's not going to happen! It's impressive. Finished. Who knew? Shu was so powerful. I fight on. My father! I guess I have to retreat. But this isn't a good sign for the future. You have been isolated with no hope of rescue. It is a singular disgrace to be captured by the enemy. Ugh, hurry up and kill me! What's the matter? Why have you... ...executed me yet? Surely you can't expect me to betray Wei? But you must guarantee the lives of my men. If you do that, I will acquiesce to your request. For the sake of my father, and my brother as well, I must protect the future of Shu with my own hands. If I can secure those two key locations, it should work in our favor. I will go forth! Lord 
Zhuge Liang. Master Jiang Wei has engaged the Wei forces in combat. Jiang Wei has joined us. That is exactly as I planned. But it is still wonderful news to hear. That was a well-earned victory. Try not to forget how you achieved such success. Constructing the plank bridge has allowed our forces to advance easily and without fatigue. This should allow them to fight more effectively. There's no escape. The enemy is strong, but we can't just give up. with caution. You are a true warrior of the Three Kingdoms, Jing. We must stop the enemy here! Even at the cost of our lives! Everyone is to remain here and defend this position with their very lives. We must stop the enemy here, even at the cost of our lives. We must stop the enemy here. Even at the cost of our life! If I do not capture Tian Shui, my men will be in danger. Call me a traitor, but I must do this. <laughs> what? Jiang Wei is moved to attack? How dare he betray us! <laughs> The enemy is strong, but we can't just give up.
Hold on. Are things going badly? Huh. Let's get moving. <laughs> Fight just like you're ready. I shall do my best. I'll let you go for now. Don't think you've won. I fight on in the name of my father. We will lose a key outpost, but I have no choice. I have to retreat. was a well-earned victory. Chen Sang is the key stronghold of this battle. For my lord, I will claim it. I will never give Chen Song up! Face my defense of steel! That's not going to happen! It doesn't matter how formidable your citadel may be. I have just the thing to break it down. All we can do is... Retreat. The fall of Chen Song puts all of Wei in danger. Understood. Chen Seng is ours. This should turn the tide of the battle. Do not allow this land to be returned to your control. I will defend it with my very life. Take this place, and we can send the reinforcements and save Master Ma Su! That was a well-earned victory. Shu forces fight like veritable demons! I must count myself lucky to walk away with my life! Thank you for your aid. We'll regroup and form up reinforcements at once. That was a well-earned victory. Excellent. We're really pushing them back. Let's keep this up and take Jiating. Did I make a mistake? No, surely my thinking is sound. How did this happen? We can't afford to lose, Jia Ting. The entire... The front line will collapse. Hey, hey, how could we lose from such a strong position? Our forces have sustained so much damage. This is all my fault. 
The Shu forces must be tired after such a long journey. Let us give them the gift of eternal slumber. That was a well-earned victory. There's still this many fighting men left? So we can send reinforcements! Master Wang Peng, I ignored your warnings, but you saved me anyway. I won't make up for that, but let me help you. You fight just like our father. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. How could my fast intellect have failed me? Curse you, Zhuge Liang. See, my E has withdrawn. It appears we have managed to avoid total catastrophe. However, injuries are still significant. Continuing the northern campaign in this state would be foolish in the extreme. I fight on in the name of my father! Thanks to the efforts of all of you, we have managed to repel Sima E and stifle Wei's momentum. However, we have also sustained significant damage. It will be impossible to proceed any further. We will retreat to Chengdu. I will consider how best to deal with Ma Su. My lord, I have brought with me an enemy officer who has surrendered to us. You must be the man, Jian Wei. You exhibited a remarkable understanding of strategy. The placement of your men was flawless. Your praise means nothing to me. The disgrace of surrendering to the enemy has stained my honor forever. It is your right to do with me as you wish. Yes, and I will decide what that is to be once we return to Chengdu. But I can promise you that you will be treated fairly. In fact, I have a proposition that I would like to make to you. Let's get moving. Don't get scared just because the enemy is strong. I don't plan on losing. Hold on. Are things going badly? I will come right to the point. John Wei, I would like you to help me devise my strategies going forward. 
You want me to act as your lieutenant? I fought against you not long ago and have only just surrendered to the Shu forces. It is not appropriate for me to accept such an important role. I do not wish to discriminate based on years of service. I am asking you to help me because I believe you are a man of rare intellect. It is a singular honor to receive such praise from a man revered as the Sleeping Dragon and praised as the greatest mind of our age. But are you not concerned that I might betray you and return to Wei? As long as I still have a brush and some ink, I could make sure that such aspersions are cast upon you as to make it impossible for you to work with Wei again. But I do not want to do any such thing. It is my desire that you will give your heart and soul to the cause of Shu. Will you work with me to create a land of virtue? I have been moved by your passion and noble ambition. From today on, I will commit my every waking hour to the creation of the land of virtue of which you speak. I will devote myself to your cause, Master Zhuge Liang, Prime Minister, if I may call you that. I am most grateful to you. Guan Qing gave his all on the battlefield to help make the Northern Campaign a success. However, Wei proved to be more formidable than expected and the Shu army found itself struggling. Additionally, Guan Qing's sworn brother, Zhang Bao, was slain in battle. It was widely believed that the land of benevolence that they sought was but an impossible dream. Just then, Zhuge Liang looked to restart his northern campaign. His first move was to give a secret order to Guan Qing. Xu and Guan Qing were not prepared to give up the fight. An attack under the cover of night. With a handful of elite fighters, if it doesn't work, we will lose. But it will be very dangerous for all those who go. And that's why I need to have you do this for me, Master Guanxin. If only Zhang Bao were still alive. I'll go too. I wouldn't know what to do if something happened to you, brother. Yin Pin, you have your own responsibilities to worry about. But, Father, Brother Ping, even Master Zhang Bao. I will be just fine. Don't worry. Besides, if I can't handle this, how will I ever be able to face them? I understand. I'll wait here for you. But you have to come home again. Ah, I promise.